G'day, I'm Warwick Schiller and uh, welcome to another blog about uh, things that have happened at clinics. And this one didn't happen in a clinic, this one actually happened before a clinic. I did a clinic in um, New South Wales last year and it was at a rodeo ground and I, when I got there, I got there kind of early in the morning, you know, probably an hour and a half maybe before the clinic starts, and I thought I'll have a little rest in the car. So I put up there under a tree and so it was at the rodeo ground, it's also a show ground. So out the front of the place is like a big cross country course and stuff like that. And there's a trotting track and there's all sorts of stuff. Hey Matilda. This is my crazy cat Matilda. Come here you beast. Anyway, um, so there was, you know, different people riding around before the clinic doing different things. And um, I was just sitting there in the car and I looked over there and there was a girl riding down on the other side of the rodeo arena, riding down the road on this horse, big, you know, thoroughbred looking horse, prancing, dancing, all with English tack on, you know. And this horse didn't look too happy anyway. She went down further down and I saw her down there on the flat. I thought she must have been going down to where the cross country course was. And um, I didn't pay any attention for a while. I was having a little nap in the car, I think. And all of a sudden I looked up down there and this horse was rearing up. She was trying to make it go that way and it wanted to go that way. And she'd point it that way and start whipping on it and it would rear up and spin around and as soon as it faced back towards home, she'd stop whipping on it, she'd sit there and she'd, she'd turn around and face it this way and start whipping on it. And it, you know, it looked like a boyfriend or someone was down there with her helping her out. And uh, it was just looked like an accident waiting to happen. But you know, I mean, I can't wander over there and tell them what they're doing wrong. But what was going wrong here was the way that she wanted to go. You know, everything we're doing, we're trying to make the wrong thing hard and the right thing easy. Okay, and the right thing in that case would have been going in the direction she wanted it to go in. Well, every time it pointed in the direction she wanted to go in, she whipped it with the whip and kicked it in the belly. And every time it reared up and spun around and faced that way, she quit whipping and a kicking. Anyway, so it would take five minutes to fix it. You would just do the opposite of what she was doing. But anyway, I thought, well, it's not my, you know, I can't go out there and get in the middle of it, even though I'd like to. I wanted to help the horse out more than anybody because the poor horse was confused. So I think I had another little nap in the car for about 10 minutes and I thought, oh, I better go and see if anybody's here. And I started walking across that way and the next thing that horse goes galloping down the road and people are running around, call the ambulance, call the ambulance. And I go over there and that girl is laying on the ground, writhing in pain. And, um, you know, this horse had actually flipped over backwards, landed completely on top of her. Anyway, then they got, finally got the ambulance there about 20 minutes later. And uh, the noise that girl made when they loaded her in the ambulance was, you know, makes me feel sick just to hear it. Like she was, it was a blood curdling scream. But she had broken her femur completely in half. And uh, they took her to hospital and she spent four hours in, uh, getting operated on that day. And then they putting a big steel rod in her leg. And, um, but anyway, the, the moral to this story was that she was trying to make a horse do something it didn't want to do. Instead of figuring out what it wanted to do and making that difficult and make the thing she wanted to do easy, she was making the thing she wanted to do really, really hard. And that horse, you know, she basically, if I was going to systematically teach a horse to rear over on top of me, that's how I'd do it. I'd try to make it go somewhere it wouldn't go, and when it tried to go the other way, I'd stop doing it. You know, that's about as simple as it is. So, you know, she was making the wrong thing easy and the right thing hard, and she kind of paid the price. But anyway, just a little something that happened, uh, it wasn't even at the clinic, it was before the clinic. Um, and after they loaded her in the ambulance, I said to someone, well, you know, that's the sort of person who could have used some help at the clinic, you know, if she was in it. And they said, well, she was in it. And so there's another moral to the story. If you're going to go to a clinic and get help, wait till the clinic starts to get help. You know, that was the first day. That horse there, we wouldn't have even ridden it the first day. It, you know, it was completely out of control. But anyway, um, just another story from a clinic. Hope that gives you something to think about. See you guys next time.